All right, y'all, Ray and Coleman, hit me up on Twitter and on TikTok at Carefree Blurred. Hit me up on IG and YouTube at Carefree Black Nerd. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we're back. So um, the blackening, so the blackening, I enjoyed that movie. I enjoyed the media rollout. I enjoyed everything leading up to it, the actors, the writing, all of it. It was just a great movie. Now, there was some folks who didn't like it, and that is not something that I even, that bothers me because everybody's sense of humor will not be the same. Hell, I grew up watching Mad About You, Seinfeld, Friends, but also Living Single, Martin, In the Heat of the Night, uh, um, uh, with the In Living Color. Like, I grew up watching a variety and array of content. And specifically the comedy content, it's like, eh, everybody's sense of humor is not going to be the same. So I'm not really, I don't care about that. But anyway, it was a beautiful movie with some wonderful folks, some big names, some beautiful black people, and I'm here for it. So it looks like there may be the Blackening se uh, sequel. Blackening 2, the sequel to this year's horror comedy is officially in the works. Um, this article I'm looking at da, 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 is from Blood Disgusting. That is a website, and this was posted on November 20th, so a couple of days ago. Now, 2023. Now, after scaring up 18 billion in theaters earlier this year, horror comedy The Blackening is getting a sequel from Lionsgate. Variety has exclusively announced this afternoon. Variety notes, producer MRC and domestic distributor Lionsgate have entered into talks with Dwayne Perkins, Tracy Oliver, and producer E. Brian Dobbins to develop a follow-up film. Now, the first film was made on a production budget of just $5 million. Now, my good smart ass, I thought that... <laughs> The way I read this article the first couple of times, I thought that was five dollars, which, bruh, I whatever, you charge it to my clumsiness. Anywho, so <laughs> five million. So they're neat. Um, needless to say, that there's a potential for this to become a profitable, scary movie type horror fr franchise, and that's one thing that I actually really like about this movie is because scary movie was specifically spoofing other horror movies, which you can do in this, and I think this this one kind of did that but i think the spoofing was more or less a backseat to the actual story being told so i really i did enjoy the story even though i guessed it pretty early on what was happening um but that being said because this movie the first one was not overt in being a spoof of horror movies in the same way that scary movie has i wonder where do you go from there is it now just a title that is handed off or is it are we following this collection of people throughout the blackening verse like there's a lot of different ways that this could go and i'm very interested to see where it goes where they take it because what do you do with the part two like ah, i don't know they have a a a chance to do something different but whatever it is that they do i think i'm more excited because one it's andy and Dwayne, ah phenomenal i love him um but we're not getting like halloween again or we're not getting Freddy Krueger again. Or we're not getting Chucky again. And not to say that those things are bad. But when you're getting these franchises that are already established. Where it's just like a nostalgia grab. Even if it's done well. I still think it's kind of a nostalgia grab. It's like this is something new. And even if the blackening was. Let's say it wasn't the blackening. It was with a full Asian cast. Or a full. I don't know. Pacific Islander cast. Or a full. I don't know. Mexican cast. That being said. I think it was, it's still doing something new and different that i would be interested in um so i don't want it to seem like oh i'm i'm hyped up because <laughs> it's full of black people that is the case but that aside it's still a interesting concept for and especially for me and i want to reiterate just in case you're new around here horror movies have not been my jam i have recently in the last i think year and a half two years time moves very oddly i have no idea but i'll just say confidently in the last year and a half i've really gotten into horror but not knees deep in it i'm still wading in the water <laughs> but again i think that this franchise has the potential to do something very interesting and i'd like to see where do they go from here and because it does have the potential to do something interesting that's not built off an established franchise like the michael myers like the freddy krueger's etc it could, it could go anywhere it could do anything and i'm just looking forward to it because even if the second installment is not as good as the first one 
there's shitty horror movies made all day every day i don't care i'm still going to see it like so let me know what are your thoughts when it comes to the blackening did you see the first one did you enjoy it do you feel like this even deserved or needed a part two um let's say if you did enjoy it and you think it should get a part two give me a knife emoji give me a knife emoji and if you're like nah this is crap i didn't need it give me a uh i don't know give me a white circle <laughs> emoji or something so yes indeed yes indeed <laughs>